Yeah. About to give wait, 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 wait. It's like, turn the light on. Turn the turn light on in the on. car. Turn so the we're light in, on. So we're in Miami, and we just left Polo. Wait, wait, wait. Wait till it come up. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We're in Miami and we just left Polo's release party. My kids called me in a frenzy saying that the police are all behind them, 20 cars deep. And this is not an exaggeration. What is ridiculous is the fact that a young black man can celebrate his success and still be looked at as a motherfucking nigger. Then when I go... Then when I go and I ask them, where is my minor son, who's 16 years old, they refuse to let me speak to my minor son. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? When I say beyond ridiculous, beyond ridiculous, beyond ridiculous, Superstar all of this, who, who you are, because this on my Instagram, all of this is because my son, Polo G, literally came from his album release party and going to his after party at Allure, and they stopped them because they were driving while black. Let's keep in mind that they were driving in a licensed vehicle with fucking security and a driver okay he wasn't even the person driving do you know how scary that is and then when i go and approach them to ask them about my children and namely my minor son who's 16 they tell us if we don't leave that they're gonna lock us the fuck up i need y'all to spam they marched they marched i must have fought the police that march we down the streets i do not know if my children are safe what's going on i do not know if my children are safe and i need you motherfuckers to Flood Miami fucking police department and tell them the to let my Miami. sons go. Polo G. They Guys, this is your boy D. Smith. So rapper Polo G arrested in Miami after a struggle. Police say his mother is not pleased. Now these days you do not know what is true, what is false. Police just make up shit. Been doing that shit for years. Been doing that shit for years. Let's watch the rest of this video. Polo G, they have T baby, and I am not having it. My children will not be a casualty. I have raised my children right. They are respectful people, and we are celebrating the success. And this is how it ends. Not on my watch. Not on my watch, and not today. I have a right to ask where my children are. I have a right to know where my minor child is. I have a right. We're not getting ready to ride off. Look at this shit. Flip the camera. No, they can ride off. I'm getting out. No, flip the camera. I'm not gonna leave him. I'm, I'm not leaving my son. We're not leaving him. Wait, 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 wait. Right now. Okay. They're in the police car. Right yeah. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Why they in a, in a this, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is a waste of taxpayers' money. Ridiculous. And the only crime that they committed is being motherfucking black and successful. Ridiculous. We're a car full of women, and you know what they told us at the end of the day? Then white man told us, motherfucking move or you going to okay, jail too. What, what, what I'm going to jail for? Look at this one. Look at him. Look at him. I'm the white man. Oh, look at him. Oh, and then they putting their hand on their gun. Oh. Look at him. Flip it. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him. Call them bitches and tell them to let my mother. Who's that right here? Who, slow down, slow down. Who this right here? Who that walking in that white shirt? Who's in that white shirt? This is ridiculous. Where is he? This is ridiculous. I've never in my life saw this, and this is a mother's nightmare realized. It's like, it's, it's ridiculous. You have so many things that are stacked against your children, and then to feel that the people who are tasked with your safety are the, the aggressors that will in turn do your children harm. If my children were stopped by the police, and they were any other color, I know that they'd get a pat on the back, on their head and a smack on their ass and they'll be okay. But because they are black men, they villainize our color, they villainize our wealth, they villainize everything about us. Everything. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How does a traffic stop when my son's not even driving? Motherfucker turn into a full-on police brigade of 
20, 30 fucking cars to drag three men out of the car. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's excessive. And at the very least, it's egregious and it's fucking racist. So yeah, you can see that right there. She has every right to be upset. How the fuck is a crime being committed? According to uh, these ladies, they was at his album release party. On their way, on their way home or whatever, to a hotel, to another party, whatever. Twenty motherfucking police cars followed him. Twenty police cars, excessive. Mind you, according to Polo G mother, he was not driving. Has security. Explain to me. Explain to me. Come on. Come on with the comments. Come with the comments. Come with those fucking stupid ass comments. I want to hear it. Just crazy, man. Just crazy. So hopefully he Polo G is alright, man. Hopefully he is alright. And let, let me show you something real quick. Let me show you something. So according to jail records, the 22-year-old Chicago-born Polo G bond on the five charges totaling $20,000. Miami police tweeted that they are aware of an incident involving Polo G and another male juvenile under age, the police don't give a fuck about that, and details will become available. So, allegedly, there go that word, allegedly, man. <laughs> allegedly, he was uh, scuffling with the cops. <laughs> Man, I got to see a body cam video, man. Police love making up shit. They love making up shit. So they ended up in a struggle on the ground while they was trying to handcuff him. Go, go find an article, man. These motherfuckers be wild. <laughs> so you can see the Miami police uh, tweet right here. So the Miami police department's aware of an incident involving Polo G. Man, these motherfuckers be out here wilding. Police be wilding. Niggas be wilding. People just be wilding. So according to this uh, college kid on Twitter, Polo G's sister and baby mama Crystal was also arrested. So I guess... Uh, yeah, Polo G's sister and baby mama were also arrested. Wow. That shit is crazy, man. Over what the what the fuck did he do? That's what that's what I don't understand. I'm trying to figure out what did he do. So he was arrested for a battery of a police officer. I gotta see the video, man. These these motherfucking Police officers would make shit up on that ass. Hey, we're going to say it like this. We're going to write it like this without no video evidence. You can't believe them. You can't believe them. I will not believe them. So his mother goes on to say, none of these charges would be possible if the police did not make contact with my son, Polo G. Facts. He was not the fucking driver. What the fuck? He was not the driver. He was a passenger in a professional licensed vehicle with security. He was moving smart and correctly. What more could have been done? Facts. Facts on facts on facts. And she was telling the truth, man. She was telling the truth.
So go follow her on Twitter. She said it right there. She's telling the truth, man. What more could be done? Where are my sons? Where is my minor son? That's crazy, man. Yeah, so you can see the uh, the uh, the case charges right here. So he'll be out soon. And, man, it's crazy. When you do everything correctly, the right way, hire all these professional drivers, security, this and that, and punk-ass Miami police will still fuck with you. Florida's just a fucked-up state anyway. They, they, they don't think it, in, in my opinion. My opinion. So let me know what you think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy D. I'm out of here.